Welcome back people to MG Sports TV and this is the Copa America predictions 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 no predictions are not based on facts they're based on possible or likely outcomes which means I know nothing <laughs> I know nothing I'm not God I don't know the future but we're making predictions based off what we think or feel or what we would want to happen yes so welcome thank you very much um this is the copa america predictions really really appreciate you joining um these are the, the areas that the predictions will cover um leading goal scorer clean sheets um goals conceded um top performer breakout player easiest game for us toughest game for us and and also the final point standing our maximum points that we will get in the group also, we will predict the three games, the result, the outcome of the three games that Jamaica will be playing because that is the only way we're going to know the, the final point standing. And as I said, let me, clear, let me clarify, we know nothing. I know nothing. I am not God. I cannot see the future. I cannot tell what's going to happen in the future. But we still do predictions because of what we want or hope should uh, happen in our favor. So this is actually the Reggae Boys prediction. Thank you very much, people. I would really take this moment for you guys to hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button as well. I would really, really appreciate you guys doing so. And most definitely share the content. Let more person be able to get an understanding of what's happening. And don't keep it to yourself. Let other people who you know watch are like the Reggae Boys team. And just support Jamaica football in general. Hear what's going on. Most definitely, you can also support us by buying us, buying us a coffee. The link is in the description. The link will also be in the comment section. Thank you, all. Thank you as always for joining. Now we're going to touch first on the possible outcome. And what would those outcome lead us, or what position would those outcome lead us into? Now, we already know that Mexico would be the top team in the group. Um, second to that would be Ecuador. Third, Venezuela. Then, Jamaica. Now, Venezuela is quite close to Jamaica, so I'm kind of, you know, kind of glad to one team they're close away. But in recent performance versus a top team like Mexico, um, I would really, really believe say, we have some good standing there. All right, now, let's go first. Let us go first. Um, easiest game for us. I do believe that Venezuela might be the easiest game for us. I don't know much about Venezuela. I mean, I got, it's, not me, it's not me disrespecting Venezuela, but according to the FIFA rankings, if we just look at FIFA rankings, they might just be the easier team for us or the easiest game that we might play. So that's the reason why I predict them to be the easiest game that we are likely to play. Now, on the other hand, the toughest game we will play is Mexico. Not just because they are the highest in the FIFA ranking, but most importantly, we are quite familiar with them. We have history with them. We have some level of rival, rivalry with them within the, the CONCACAF region. Whatever um, trophies being given, out, given away in the CONCACAF region, USA and Mexico are the two teams who tend to stop us. They are the two teams who tend to just box us aside. But in recent time, we have, we have definitely garnered some favorable results against them. Now, I do think, though, we might get something from them. Touch it, we're going to touch into that. All right, so these are the results for the game that I predicted. First game versus Mexico. A lot of energy, a lot of vibe. I think we'll be up for this one, most definitely. I'm going to say that one should be a draw game 1-1. One, one. <laughs> I want to start laughing already. Run going to the comment section already. Come out of the comment section, man. Come out. Don't go to the comment section and, and, until me finish, man. Come out. Leave it. Leave the comment section alone, people. Anyways, I predict that goal scorer, uh, Demara Gray, assists Bobby Reed. Now, next up is Jamaica versus Ecuador. I think that's going to also draw 0-0. Zero, zero. That's going to also draw 0-0 zero, zero from my perspective. Remember me in the future. Remember me in the future. I'm just saying that game should be 
slightly one of the tough games for us. But based off how what we're defending in recent time, I strong possibly we might see in somewhat, somewhat. And I'm gonna tell you the reason why the games are gonna be so close. You're gonna see the reason why the games are gonna be so close. It's also based off the predict of some of the other predictions that I have. Then now the game, the final game of the group would be Jamaica versus Venezuela. I predict that game to finish 1-0 in favor of Jamaica. Goal scorer, Demarai Gray. Assist, Ronaldo Cifas. <laughs> Can you imagine? Hey, people, after, after a month or so, you know, one time we come back to these predictions, you know, I might just laugh. I might just be right. Just saying. So, in total here, we're going to maximize a total of five points. One win, two draw. And certainly... That would be good enough to win to go through. In the aspect, Mexico win all the other game. Can't you think Mexico, our game probably the only game Mexico, Mexico probably gonna draw because I know with history, the rivalry, kind of them little thing there. So I'm gonna say you know what? We're gonna dig out a result versus Mexico, <laughs> and then no, that's the only only draw Mexico. So Mexico might win the other two games. So that's seven points for Mexico. So Jamaica and Mexico advancing to the second round of the Copa America. Now, that is going to be a different, total different video <laughs> in general. So, let's see. So, we have two goals from Demar Gray, one, uh, one assist from Bobby Reed, one assist from Renaldo Cephas, and as I said, total maximum, uh, maximum, uh, maximum of um, five points. Goals conceded, I have two goals conceded and two clean sheets, whilst we also scoring two goals. Not bad. No, my apologies. One goal conceded. Woo, one goal conceded. And that's versus Mexico. My apologies, people. One goal conceded. My apologies. You know the maths kind of doing glow away. Anyways. See all the cameras, so I go blurry. Anyways, so one goal conceded, two goals scored, and we advance to the second round. Will that be enough? We don't know. Anyways, um, and also two clean sheets. Clean sheet versus Venezuela. Clean sheet versus Ecuador. <laughs> All right, so let's move away now to the individual awards. <laughs> As I said, first leading goal scorer will be Demarai Gray with two goals in in aspect. So Demarai Gray will be our leading goal scorer. Um, I know that why. Yeah, come know say me di me di start out if it me know me di start out if it if it pop up on the screen now, but you know sometimes these things operate in a particular way. Okay. Me not understand how I go on with the camera, now. but anyways, so Demar Gray is our leading goal scorer with two goals. Next up, we have top performer prediction. Which player, which player, our players are likely to be? or top performer over the duration of this competition. And I went for two players. Let me show you these two players. Number one on the list, Bobby Reed. He is the first player I went for on the top goal score, um, top player list. Why? Our top performer list. Why? Because generally, if you if you if you if you if you have been keeping up with the reggae boys over the last year or two years or so, Bob Reed has been one of our most consistent. Bob Reed has been one of our most consistent um, player. No, I could also have said even Lynn Goldscore could have also said um, Shamar Nicholson because he's he consistently scored for us. But one thing for sure, Bob um, Demarai Gray is also a player who consistently scored since he has arrived at Jamaica. Boom, 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 consistently scored. So I have Bobby Reed to be um to be one of our top players over this duration. And the second player is the big man himself in defense, Ethan Pinnock. Now, with Ethan Pinnock being one of our top players in this competition, now that would also equate to the reason why I say that the score lines will be so close. The nil-nil draw versus Ecuador. The one nil win over Venezuela, keeping a clean sheet, clean sheet versus Ecuador, and keeping the game as close as possible versus Mexico in a one-one draw. So that's one of the 
this this guy is one of the reasons why I have the score lines being so close because he is most definitely one of the best defenders in the Con in 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 the Concacaf region. But more, not only that, one of the best defenders in world football. Um, let's go now to our next player that we have. I have breakout player for this duration and my breakout player is let me see if i can fix this here is my breakout player no my breakout player as, I, as you can see is ronaldo cephas and why did i have ronaldo cephas as my breakout player no, if you if you'd realize the last competition, even though he got a goal versus USA that he should have scored, that USA game would have showcased to many Jamaicans, many persons watching national setup, national team, that this player has something special, especially with his pace, his dangerous pace. So don't be surprised, as I said, he will be. Don't be surprised if he is our breakout player for this competition, where is he finally established himself as one of the players to be selected or cons consistently selected going forward from now on in the event he's, in the, he's with the national team. So normally, normally they're not say, um, young players will be the breakout players, but most definitely I have Renal Cephas to be the breakout player for this period. And then uh, that would actually solidify himself as one of the main players to be selected in their setup whenever there is something happening. So people, that is my copa america prediction stand by look out for the world cup predictions as well i will most definitely do the same for the world cup and um same for the world cup qualifiers as i just did for the copa america bless up on yourself people big up on yourself hit the like button now you can go in the comment section and tell me all about the load of that i just spoke about most definitely i will be there as i said you can see it's jamaica it's the adidas jamaica we are repping, we are repping here um today so big up on yourself people smash the like button reggae boys I say all the time every time mg sports tv hope you have a good day god bless and i'll see you guys again until next time all right boom peace out oh hit the like button hit the subscribe button and buy yourself coffee done your thing already big up on yourself